thought I'd do a little bit of a review on um, a feminine female product. I've decided to do things differently in the toilet department. Um, not that there's an issue with emptying my toilet here, because the landlady said that I can empty it here. Um, but in the future, when I'm out and about, it might be a bit more tricky. So I'm doing things differently. And one way is by, well, if they work, I've not used them yet, but is by using one of these. And these are Shiwis. I've got two. One was a bit more expensive than the other. One's a kind of a cheap knockoff version of the old expensive one, I guess. So I'm going to try them out. I may do it on camera. Obviously not so you can see anything, obviously. <laughs> but um, just, might just do that. I don't know, we'll see. So, let me point the camera down. I don't know if that's the best view. Let me see. Can I do it? No, anyway. Right, so I've got two of them here, as you can see. Very similar. Um, if anything, this is a more expensive one, so it's got a little bit of writing on it. For what that's worth. Um, you know, colours are pretty much the same. This one is a little bit more rubbery. Than that one that's a bit more plasticky and i would i would thought from a practical <clears throat> point of view rubbery would be better but we'll see uh instructions for each one so that's the more expensive i it's been water so it's got a bit damp they but they're pretty much say exactly the same thing and they've both got a delightful little picture if you can see uh, um, but yeah, like I said, it, it, they do pretty much say the same. So, the point of this is, for me anyway, is so that I can pee into a bottle, like so, and um, then tip that out somewhere. Because that's not that offensive. You, you know, I could tip it over this wall here. It's just, it's just we. It's not a big deal. Um, because having to empty my toilet, as I've said before, is a bit of a pain. It's in fact, it, out of everything I have to do, it's the biggest pain. So, so yes. So I may now. Just try this one. This, I just need to get rid of it. I'm a bit nervous, I'll be honest with you, because I don't know if it's going to work or not. And um, I obviously don't want it going everywhere, because that wouldn't be pleasant, would it? So I'm, I'm still dressed. I've just lowered my garments. And I'm going to give it a go. I wish I'd better do <laughs> test them both out because I'll have to wait until I need to wee again. But um, <laughs> I don't know if we actually wee on camera. It's a bit weird, this, isn't it? Really. It reminds me of when I was um, in first school, so just a small child, and we had toilets. And the toilets were like, they had a kind of a thing round them, but it was really low. It's, it's on its way, it's coming. Um, so it's like anybody could see over top, or adults could, and I never liked that. And it, it, it took me ages to wee because I didn't want anybody looking over the top. I'm nervous. I, I, I'm not sure I trust this, to be honest. It's on its way. <laughs> yeah, it's 
until I find out if there's anything trickling down my legs. I've also got a, a flask um, I picked up today, 3 litre pump action flask, because I obviously don't have hot running water, I thought it's a good way to have hot water on tap. Alex had one for me but who knows when I'm going to see him again, so I thought I'd buy one. I knew it'd be so difficult to have a pee on camera. Actually, it makes sense that it would be, given you've got several hundred people watching you. <laughs> right, that'll have to be it. I can't. I don't think I'm squeezing more out. Hang on a minute. Thank God there wasn't anybody looking through the back window. Okay, well, I don't have a massive amount to get rid of, but all that I have got rid of has gone into that and into my bottle. Um, so that is good. So, when it's time to go again, I will, I'll report back. Actually, again, I hope you can hear me. Um, this is the flask. So, hot water. So happy to have hot water. It's great. It's an alternative, isn't it, to well, to having a hot water tank. If you haven't got a hot water tank, you can have that instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm right pleased about that. Because I can wash my hands. <laughs> I can wash my hands in hot water. I like to be able to wash my hands in hot water. I just need to find a way of either securing it there or well, I don't know what. I guess when I'm stationary it's fine. It's fine there. Um but I was looking I was thinking about a more permanent thing. Maybe putting some Velcro on the bottom so it's more sturdy and I don't have to move it every time I'm driving about, but we'll see. We'll see. That's good. Tea this evening. Kale. Gravy. Pie. From the local farm shop. I'm right looking forward to it. I've also got snacks. Oh my god, I'm only 28 stone by the end of this lockdown. More snacks. Oh well, never mind. I've had this five minutes and I can't sing its praises enough. Um, it's like there was a sticky patch in the fridge. <laughs> and I just... Put some hot water on my cloth, wiped it. It's like fantastic. It's a simple thing. Simple things make me happy. So, you know, if you're thinking that you need hot water, but you can't afford a hot water tank, or hot water heater, should I say, um, this is a good alternative. I did have a hot water heater in here judging by the switches and things but um 
somebody's taken that out. It was a carver one. I think they're about 400 quid or something. So you can see why they did take it out. But, you know, this works. It's good. I like it. And I'll put a link below if you're interested. Right, this is take two. I did record this already, but um, there's no sound on my video. And I don't know if there's going to be any sound on this video. I'm getting, I'm having a lot of hassle with technical things. Anyway, I'm pretty much busting. <laughs> so this will be a real test. See if this works or not without spilling everywhere. Yeah, so my lights have stopped working. Could be a fuse, maybe. Um, I was trying to connect my phone to the laptop to upload the videos that I've already done. Um, that's not working. So, yeah. A bit pissed off right now. <laughs> I have to say, though, that's working a treat. No leakage or spillage from that angle. The um, little leaflet did say you could use it standing up, sitting down, laying down, swinging from a chandelier, doing a cartwheel. Be a little bit uh, cautious about doing it laid down. But I don't know, it might, might work. But anyway, that was a real test. <laughs> and that worked a treat. <laughs> Not a drop was spilt. That was a cheap version that I used. So now you know, cheap version is the way to go. <laughs> I was thinking that the success of this situation, for me, success or failure really, is down to organisation. The more organised I get, the better it feels. You see, I like it to feel like a home from home. Some people are not bothered. They're just like, chuck a mattress in the back. I've got a kettle, you know, a single burner stove. That's all I need. And that's fantastic if that's all you need. Personally, I like creature comforts. But at the same time, I, I don't need fantastic luxury, clearly. <laughs> but it's like having hot water now. Even though it's not turn a tap on and it's free flowing, the fact that I've got hot water in my flask, it's like, that's great. I'm so grateful for that. I have everything I need here. I've got a fridge. I've got my bed. I've got my cooker. I've got hot water. I've, well, I've got running water and hot water. And I've got a heater that works sometimes. I've got everything I need. I mean... You know, I know some people will be horrified at the thought of somebody living in a van, like my sister was. But we need so little, really, to live. Um, but I feel I've got loads. I've got everything that I need. Let's say hot water. I'm really pleased with my hot water. Can you tell? Um... Yeah. So being organised, creating space, making it all work better. And that's every time I, I change something so that things work a bit easier, that feels good. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. <laughs>